If you have time on your hands, there is nothing better than spending a few hours doing absolutely nothing. Or maybe smoking a water pipe known in Iran as Ghalyun and having some tea in one of the many tea houses in Isfahan. And I've heard this tea house serves a rather curious snack, which I'm eager to try. It involves something called gushfil, which means elephant ears. آجه با شما در اینجا غیر غلیون و چای اینا چیزای دیگه هم دارین دیگه حتما آره؟ بله من شنیدم این گوشفیل و دوغ هست در اسمه ها بله این چه, بله. چه چیزی آج آقا؟ عوض سقا دوغ و گوشفیل هر دم بیا I think he just wants me to see for myself what it is خیلی ممنون دست شما در نکنه خب حاج آقا حالا اینو چطوری میخورن دوغ اول میخورن یا گوشیل اول اول میخورن میذارن بعدا دوغ من فکر میکردم مثلا چیزای شیرینی مثل اینو همیشه باید با چای خورد هر کی از دور دوست میذاره میخوره آ گوشیل نسیش شوری و همه خوره یه مزه ملحسی میده تو دم آفش در بخورین گوشفیل or elephant ears is a pastry smothered in golden syrup and dug is a salty yogurt drink with herbs, a rather odd combination. حاج آقا میبینم خیلی عکس ورزشکاران باستانی رو اینجا زدیم مثلا مرحوم تختی و دیگران این برای چیه شما تو این کار بودین یه علاقه داریم برای چی زدی اینا رو؟ نه خودم بودم آها خودم بودم تو شو عشق اینا عشق شده اینجا هم کردیم آه شما خودتونم ورزش میکردیم بله بله بردی. آها These men are called Pahlavan in Iran. They were athletes, but in the old days, they were more than just sportsmen. They were highly respected members of the community. Pahlavans and their sports are so revered here that some Iranians today still keep it up. Muhammad is 18 years old. He sells cigarettes in one of the poorer parts of the city. Becoming a pahlavan is very important to him. Most nights, he goes to the traditional gym, where pahlavans go to work out. Tonight, he's taking me with him. This place that you work in, what kind of place is in Isfahan? This place that you work in, it's like this, that you don't have to do anything, and 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 you don't have to do anything. پس شما شاید برای همین ورزش رو انتخاب کردید که کمتر گرفتار اون خلافکاری ها بشین احیانا خدای نکرده؟ بله خب ورزش یکی این که اگه کسی بتونه توضع به این ورزش کنه شاید ذهنش هم بتونه پیش رفت کنه چون بیشتر ورزش به این ورزش میگن ورزش پهلوان پهلوان هم به کسی میگن که وجودش پهلوان باشه مرد باشه انسان باشه همه رفتار و افکارش درست باشه به چون که گیر به این رتبه میرسی به این مرتبه و به دیرم از دست میده یعنی به این تا وقتی که تا تو کفنه به قول معروف نذاشتن این رتبه را از دست میده We have finally arrived at the gym known here as the Zurkhune which literally means the house of strength خسته نباشی خیلی ممنون سلام علیکم حال شما شده خوب هستی باور شما That's interesting. It says, "Please bow when you enter." Uh, this is how the honourable men behave in this place. The Pahlavans show their respect and humility as they go into the ring. They believe that the point of working out and becoming strong is so that they can serve their community. Muhammad told me he thinks it's going to take him years to become the kind of pahlavan that he reveres.
Kune is not just about sport. It's about community spirit, music, performance, and religion. It's a way of life. Pahlavans were an important part of Persian society. Ordinary people would see them as powerful and noble. They would go to them for advice and even ask them to settle disputes. The most famous Isfahani sweet is known as gas. Today I'm going to meet a well-known Isfahani gas producer. His name is Mr. Sheikh Bahai. He is from a well-known Isfahani family. The family route goes back to 400 years ago, when Sheikh Bahai the first came to Iran from Lebanon to promote Shiism. Sheikh Bahai also played an important role in designing some of the most well-known buildings in this city. تفاهم کنم که فامیلم شیخ بایی و از نوادگان مرحوم شیخ بایی بزرگ هستم و اصالت من و فامیل خودم رو میرسونی که تو اصفهان هستیم ولی از لحاظ این شغل هم باز افتخار میکنم که جز به سازنده چیزی هستم که مختص خود اصفهان مشهور به سقاط اصفهان و باز خوشحالم که باش شیرین میکنم دهن مردم رو خوشحال میکنم در موقع شادی و خوشحالی از این جنس که ما تولید میکنیم استفاده میکنم گز ایس سو پاپیلر دات نو وان کمس تی اسفهان ویدان ستاکنگ اپ کن دیس سپیشل کنید اف نوگا ویچ ایز مید وید لاتس اف شوگر این اف کورس پیستاشیو نوتس از محصولات سنتی ایران و خوستان اسفحان هست حتما به صورت گرد درست میکنم که به این صورت پوکه میشه و بعد این پوکه ها توی این دستگاه های پرس به صورت اون گردی که شما میبینید توی جبا بله به صورت گرد پرس میشه و بعد از سرد شدن توی جبه گذاشته میشه این سالم ترین محصول و قدیمی ترین نوع تولید گز به همین شکله یعنی فقط آر. حتی قدیم ها توی جبه های چوبی میذاشتن آرت میخوند جبه هم چوبی بود بر تخته بود که حالا مقابع شده Isfahan in Persian is known as Nesve Jahan, which means half the world. And the reason is in the 17th century, when Isfahan was turned into the capital of the new Safavid Empire, it was one of the biggest cities in the world with half a million population 
hundreds of public bathhouses, gardens, palaces, some of the most beautiful mosques. And there is also another reason for that. Shah Abbas the Great loved to invite foreigners to his new capital. I think he just wants me to see for myself what it is. House serves a rather curious snack, which I'm eager to try. It involves something called gushfil, which means elephant ears. Absolutely nothing. Or maybe smoking a water pipe known in Iran as Ghalyun, and having some tea in one of the many tea houses in Isfahan. And I've heard this tea house. آقا با شما در اینجا غیر قلیون و چای اینا چیزای دیگه هم دارین دیگه حتما آره بله من شنیدم این گوشفیل و دوغ هست در اسم بله بله. چه چه چیزی آقا آقا If you have time on your hands there is nothing better than spending a few hours doing 